a lot of rain, a lot of high wind. Um, it changes the whole dynamic of the watershed. Constant beach closures in Bay County. This time it's Bree said in South Linwood Beach that you'll have to avoid. So we have a lot of drains draining into this bay and a lot of those drains have high levels of E. coli. It's at least the fourth time South Linwood Beach has been closed this year alone. Both beaches testing above 300 for E. coli levels exceeding the state's requirements. Now testing is being done to find the cause. Where we're looking at the, the water coming out of the drains and into the lake and finding out where is it coming from. Once we find the source, hopefully we can do something about it to stop it. Both South Linwood and Brissett beaches have been closed since yesterday. Testing was done this morning and the results will be in this evening. Thanks to a new procedure called rapid testing conducted with the help of SVSU, the results will be in sooner than ever before. Last year and all years previous, it was always an 18 to 24 hour test, so we didn't know till the next day. Now we know same day results. The Bay County Health Department is prepared for all possibilities. If it's birds, it's something natural. It may not be anything we can do about that. If it's cows, um, it comes from a farm. We maybe can look at some of the farming practices. If it's human, we're going to start looking for discharges maybe from septic systems or sewers. But for now, they're advising residents to enjoy other beaches in the area until further notice. Right now, Bay City State Park has a nice beach. They are open. Winona Park's open. Um, these are the only two beaches right now closed in Bay County. Reporting in Bay County, Jamie Sherrod, WNEM TV 5.